All right, okay, let's look at this problem. You can pause the video and try the question before you're looking at the solution. So, and the question is clearly mentioned that u is a discrete random variable. Uh, when they have already telling you that u is a discrete random variable here, uh, then you have to identify how many, uh, what, which one is the discrete random variable? It's 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. It's 6 of them, right? You have 6 number here. Uh, means that the total probability of all these 6, uh, so it means that probability of u is 2, probability of u is 3, probability of u is 5, probability of u is 7, 8, and 10. Every time adding up, you are getting 1. Uh, that is the characteristic of discrete random variable. Alright, so let's look at how to solving this problem here. So the meaning here will be if you sum, right? Uh, if you sum the probability for all value, uh, the all value of discrete random driver will be getting one. Uh, so it means that you get uh, probability of u equals to two, probability of u equals to three, and probability of u equals to five, right? Uh, 3, 2, 3, 5, and together with probability of u is 7, probability of u is 8, and probability of u is 10, or if you're adding up, you are getting 1. Uh, that's very important because the question has already telling you that u is a discrete random variable. Okay, discrete random variable. So, means that, okay, you look at this, right, the discrete random variable u. So, uh, then you look at here, 2, 3, 5, right? That's why I have probability of u, 3, and 5, 2, 3, and 5, 7, 8, and 9, right? 7, 8, and 9. So now, how they are asking you to find the value of k, right? Uh, so we use the concept of adding everything here is equal to 1. So it means that when there is u equals to 2, I'm going to substitute the 2 into this function. Means u is 2, means I replace the u with 2, right? When u equals to 2, so 2 over 2k. So when u is 3, u is 3, it will 3 over 2k. u is 5, is 5 over 2k. When u is 7, then we go for this function, right? 7 over 5k. If u is 8 or 10, we put 8 and put 10, right? Uh, so let's see how I'm doing this. Uh, the most important thing, you know what I'm doing. So, and for this, you have 2 over with 2k. Adding up with uh, 3 over with 2k. Adding up with uh, u equals to 5, then 5 over with 2k. Uh, this is all using the same function, right? Uh, for 2, 3, and 5, they are using the same function here. So that's why you have over 2k, right? Everything here, 2k, 2k, 2k. So the u is, when u is 2, the u is 2, 3, 5, right? So 7, 8, and 10. Uh, so 7, 8, and 10, so you have over with 5k, uh, 7, Followed by 8 over with 5k plus with 10 over with 5k. All add up, you're getting 1, right? You're getting 1. So, okay, let's simplify this. You have all the same. The denominator have the same value. Easy, right? To calculate. So, you just add up the denominator. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 5, you have 10 over with 2k, right? Uh, plus with 5k. All the denominator have the same. So, we add up. Uh, 5k, uh, 5k, 7 plus 8, 15, 15 plus 10, 25. Total must be 1, right? Okay, and this can be simplified, right? 2, 5, so it becomes 5 over k. And same thing here also, I think 5, 5, 25. So 5 over k equals 1, right? Okay, k and k, so the denominator is k. 5 plus 5, you have 10 equals 1. Right? Uh, from here, you can clearly find the value of k, which the value of k will be 10, right? k will be 10. So this is the way we evaluate, right? We solve this problem here using the concept of discrete random variable, where the sum of all the random, the probability of all the probability of all the random variable must be 1. Okay? Uh, so now I have answer, uh, find the value of k. The k is 10. So I have to replace the value of k into the function here. Alright, let's see. Alright, you have know that the value of k will be 10, right? Uh, you know it will be 10, so you replace with 10, right? 
Uh, so later on, uh, they are asking you to construct a probability distribution table, right? With this value of k here. So for a, you construct a probability distribution table. Uh, so very easy. So you have discrete random variable u, right? U and p u equals to u, right? Uh, the probability and its discrete random variable. So let's say you have two, three. 5, 7, 8, and 10, right? 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. If I'm asking you, probability of u equals to 4, is there any probability? No, 0, right? 0. Otherwise, it's 0. Means other, other than this number, all the probability is 0. Means that if I said pu equals to uh, uh, 6, it will be 0, okay? There are no probability. So when you said p, uh, so let's say if p u equals to 2, right, u equals to 2, there is a probability here, so 2. So you replace with 2 over 20, right, uh, 2 over with uh, 20. So 2 over 20, 3 over 20. So 3 over 20 and 5 over 20, right, 5, right, replace the number with 5 when probability of u equals to 5, so 5 over 20. So same thing also for this, you have 7 over 50, 7 over 50, 8 over 50, 10 over 50, right? Uh, so, but you have to simplify the fraction here. But before that, you can add up everything here, right? If you add up everything, you are getting the value of 1. Uh, so you can try, right? 2 over 20 plus 3 over 20 plus 5 over 20 plus 7 over 50 plus 8 over 50 plus 10 over 50. Adding up all, you are getting value of 1. Okay, uh, so when you construct a distributed table, this is for you. Uh, I just teach you how to you get the value from the function. So for this, you have to write in the simplest form of fraction, 1 over 10. And this will be 1 over 4, right? Uh, 1 over 4. So 750, 8 over 50, you can write as uh, 4 over 25, right? Uh, means you can replace it with 4 over 25. And for this is 1 over 4. Uh, so, and this will be 1 over 10, and this will be 1 over 5, right? Uh, so, you have to erase this and replace it with a simple fraction here, right? Uh, so, this is a probability distribution table for this uh, function. All right, okay. And the question asking us to find the probability of u uh, between 4 and 8, but include 8, all right? Okay, let's, how to, let's see how to find this probability. Very easy. You can just take the value from the table. Okay, this is the answer for A. Uh, and probability of 4, U, uh, include 8. Right? Very simple means that uh, the value of discrete random variable, discrete random variable means the value only can take uh, between this, okay, uh, all this number here. So it means that uh, between 4 and 8, so there is a U equals to 5. Right, uh, 5 and 7, u equals to 7. So 2 and 3 is not inside here, right? Uh, it's not inside here. So it's 5, right? 5 is within 4, 7 is within 4 and 8, and 8, right? Uh, 8. You cannot include 4. There is no include here, right? Uh, there are no value of 4 here. So, so 7 and 8, right? Uh, 8 is include. So pu equals to 8. So you can take the probability from the distribution table. So for this is 1 over 4. Uh, so for this is uh, 7 over 50. And for this 8 is uh, 4 over 25. You add up all these three, then you will get the probability for this. All right, very simple. So which giving you 11 over 20 as the probability for this, uh, for this, right? Right, okay, I will add on some question. How if the question asking for find the probability of u of u is an prime number, right? Uh, if u is a prime number, so what is mean by u is a prime number it means that the probability of u is a prime number, right? So where u is a prime number here. So prime number uh, two is a prime number, right? Because two have two factors. One is itself and one, right? Can divide by two and one only, right? 
So this is also a prime number, right? Five is also a prime number. Seven is also a prime number, but eight is not a prime number, right? Uh, eight is not a prime number. Ten is also not a prime number. So there are four prime number here. Two, three, five, and seven. So means, all right, the probability is a prime number means that, uh, so probability of U is a prime number. Just copy down this sentence here, right? Probability of U is a prime number is actually equals to uh, this four, right? Uh, this will be a prime number, so be one over 10, plus with 3 over 20, plus with 1 over 4, plus with 7 over 50, right? Uh, you adding up this probability, it will be the probability required by this question, right? The probability of U is n prime number, right? Which giving the value of 16 over 25 as the probability for this question here, all right? Hope you understand. Uh, let's say if the question is asking you to all right, if the question is asking you to find the mode, the mode of the discrete random variable here, okay? Uh, the mode here very simple. Okay, uh, you just check the value from the probability distribution table. You look at which has the highest value of probability, right? Uh, for this, you have 0 0.1, right? Uh, you can using calculator to helping you 3 over 20 will be giving you 0 0.15. Right, uh, so checking all the value here, 104 is 0 0.25. Uh, so and 7 over 50, uh, using calculator 7 over 50 is with 0 0.14. So and 4 over 25, you have uh, 0 0.16. And for this, you have 0 0.2, right? 0 0.2. So you see all the probability here. Which one have the highest probability, right? It will be 0 0.25, right? 0 0.25. So what is the discrete random variable correspond to this probability is 5 right so the mode here will be u equals to 5 will be the mode of the of this discrete random variable very simple so what's the reason because it has the highest probability right highest probability among all the discrete random variable all right i think that's all for this video